My name is Carolyn Schlebeck, and I am the FY19 Graduate Member Coordinator of GradSUI, which is the graduate student community of the Society of Women Engineers. We are a team comprised of graduate students and professionals that are engaged in supporting the needs of graduate student members by providing resources and information necessary to successfully navigate graduate school and professional careers. You can check us out here at gradsui.sui.org. Today, I'll be sharing some tips on how to create a personal website for self-promotion. This can help a lot in the job search and for networking. I'll be going over more tips in uh, my talk at WE18, which will be take place on October 19th at 1.30. I hope to see you all there. So the first thing that we need to discuss about personal websites is the introduction page. So I've chosen some example websites that we can go through in this talk. Uh, in this page, I really like that we have a picture of the individual. We have a nice quick quote about their research. It has a little bit of fun in it. And then we also have several links that we can connect with them on different uh, platforms. This example shows a nice inviting picture. We are guided towards learning more about the individual, finding their CV or connecting with them. And we also have different tabs at the top that we can see uh, what's going on uh, with their life. If we're in a research focused program, we might want to include uh, descriptions of our research. So this individual has included some nice uh, titles guiding us through each of their uh, topics in research and some descriptions as well, but it's still interactive with some images included in there. Uh, we can also have a nice uh, panel on the side that can uh, really highlight the topics of your research and allow the visitors to learn more details if they wish. If you're into collaborations, we can provide a page that's solely devoted to that. So this individual has provided links to each of their collaborations. We see some images, some team pictures, some videos even, and we get a better sense of where they're working and how they work with other people and how they work around the world, which is very useful. Uh, if you're publishing papers, you'll wanna include a list of those. Uh, and a good way to make them interactive is to do what this person has done and include some images of the journals that you're publishing in, uh, being sure to bold your name so that it's easy to find on the publication list. And that way we get a better sense of where you're publishing and where you stand on each of these papers. Uh, one thing that you can do as well is use one of these tools. So if we go back to this previous website, um, this person linked each of their uh, papers. And when we click on these um, citation uh, bubbles, we can see actually where these papers are being shared, both geographically as well as through different news outlets, which can be very helpful. Uh, to get a better sense of the reach of the research. Uh, if you're not in a research-focused program, you can also list your projects. This can be very helpful to visitors to your website. So this person has listed several different projects, and when we actually click on the links, we can be brought to the actual project, and we can see what has been going on uh, with this person and get a better sense of what type of work they've been doing. If you're interested in teaching, you can also include a page devoted entirely to teaching. So include your teaching philosophy, some uh, text in the, that can uh, provide background for what you believe in teaching and where your strategies are, uh, as well as some interactive photos showing that you can actually teach uh, and deliver content. Uh, another great thing to include is science outreach. So this person has listed all of the places that they do their science outreach, as well as some links to the um, actual outreach that they've done so that it might be reproducible by others. And they have a great, at the top of their page, they have a great uh, running slideshow that we can go through and see different images of the outreach that they've done. Uh, another thing that we can include um, to make it more interactive is grouping text on one side and image on another and kind of alternating through that. So this individual is also really interested in public policy. So they uh, provide some uh, resources for visitors to their page to actually get involved with public policy. So they're really continuing to do public policy even when they're uh, not at, uh, in person or at their website. And most of us in the Society of Women Engineers are likely advocates for women and minorities in STEM. And so if you put a lot of time and effort into this, this is really something you should highlight on your page and show that this is something you care about and something that you've worked toward. So this person does a great job of this and they show they start this page by showing themselves as a strong female um, and a they're giving a talk, they have a great quote here, and they're in a power pose. They're looking like a great champion for uh, women and minorities in STEM, as they've indicated. Uh, and great other things to include on your website include a list of press releases, so showing where uh, you've been published um, in terms of news outlets. So if you're into science communication, this is a great thing to include as well, showing that you're kind of going outside of the scientific community. Uh, you can also start a blog and run a blog through here and include different uh, blog posts that you've made. So this individual has actually categorized their blog into an academic blog, a blog based more on their MD work, and then a personal blog. So you can go through and uh, actually see 
each of the categories of this person and how they uh, define their life in each of these segments. And so once you've made your personal website, the next thing you'll want to do is have it advertised. And the easiest place for us to do that as graduate students is to get it to be included in our group website. So uh, my advisor has included a link to my website here. So when you click on my name, you can actually be brought to my personal website. And this allows me to better control what people are seeing when they're uh, finding me on the lab website. And so I hope you guys all enjoyed this video today. Thank you for tuning in. Again, this is a video from GradSuite and I hope to see you all at We18. Thank you.